Hi, I'm Sean Concanon. Today we'll be exploring the endless possibilities of the potato cannon, also known as the spud gun, spud zooka, and spud launcher. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do to fire a potato cannon is build it. And in order to build it, you need to get supplies. So, you can either go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or any other hardware store, and all you need is a few pieces of PVC piping and a grill ignition system. Alright, first thing you'll need is at least one foot of four inch PVC piping, like so. This will be the combustion chamber. And then you'll need a four inch to two inch PVC adapter. Uh, now you can either get this in one piece or in two parts like I did. And again, I just did this because they didn't have a full piece. But it acts just the same. It'll go from four inch here to two inch down into the barrel. Okay. Next, you'll need a female screw cap adapter and a screw cap, all right? This just screws right on, and this will stop the fumes from coming out once you put it in the combustion chamber. All right, here we have the barrel, and for the barrel, you need at least four feet of PVC piping, of two-inch PVC piping. Now, you can either get this as the whole four feet, or you can, I just got it in two two-foot pieces just because that's how they sold it. And if you do have to get it in two parts, or more, just use a coupler, and this just hooks on to one end, and then the other one hooks on, and it acts as a whole four foot piece, and you can see that it goes straight through. All right. Next, the last piece to the potato cannon is a grill ignition system. All right. This is just a little button, and when you press it, it makes a spark. And what you do is uh, you have two wires here, and you put, you put screws through the two wires. And when they're close together inside the pipe here, you just click it and it'll spark it. Okay. <clears throat> and finally, you need some PVC primer and PVC cement to glue everything together. Okay, now that you have all your pieces, you're going to take it together, go outside or in a well ventilated area, and I'm in my garage for instance, and lay out the potato cannon fully constructed without the primer or cement on it. Okay? Right here on the left side of the combustion chamber, you have the uh, screw cap and the screw cap adapter. Then you have the, then you have the the pipe here, the adapt the four inch to two inch adapter, and then the barrel. All right. Next, once you have everything laid out so you don't mess up somehow, you want to put the primer on the part that's going to go in. Okay. It doesn't matter if you get a little messy because you can spray paint it or whatever you want to do with it once you finish it. Okay, once you get the primer on, that dries very quickly, then you take the cement, and I take the coupler off first, and just apply a little bit of cement onto the primer. Okay? Just like this. And make sure you get an even coat all over. Okay, just like that, it's perfect. Now, put the coupler on and let that sit and that will dry. Okay, just like this. Okay, now you take the next piece, right here. Okay. Stop that from running. Okay, next you're going to put the primer on this side and I'll show you how you do this. Make sure you brush it against the side so you don't get excess amount. This will ensure that it doesn't drip on the side of the pipe. That might be a mess for later. Okay, just apply an even coat all over, just like this. You can turn it while you do so, and that might make it a bit easier. Okay. Just where you're going to apply it. Okay. Now, let it sit for a minute, and this will dry. And then, Put the cement on and insert it into the part. Okay? Alright, now that you have it all primed and cemented, just <coughs> screw the cap back on and let it sit overnight. You don't wanna you don't wanna put the cables in yet because if it sparks accidentally, these fumes are highly flammable and it could ignite and blow up. So let it sit overnight, air out, then tomorrow you can put the ignition in and launch a potato. Okay, earlier in the movie I said that uh, you need at least one foot of PVC 4 inch for the combustion chamber. Now I got 
two feet because that's how they sold it, but you want 10 inches, okay? 10 to tw a foot, all right? Because if you have it any bigger, you won't get enough pressure in the combustion chamber. I found that out the hard way because after I cemented the whole thing together and uh, put it like this, and I put the ignition in, I tried to ignite it, and it didn't work. So, uh, and I didn't show you how to put the ignition in, so I'll do that now. This is the part that got cut off. So that's a lot of extra. This is all you really need. Um, all right, so here. First, to put the ignition in, you need to drill a hole for one of the nails, all right? Do that near the back of the chamber so that it'll ignite from the back and shoot out that way. Okay, once you get a hole in there, it'll be really easy to put the screw in. Um, you want to get another hole uh, close to it, and that's where you'll put in the other, the next screw, okay? So about a centimeter away, we'll put in the next one. Right. Okay, there we go. Now you're going to take out the drill bit here. And you don't want the drill bit to be too big because then the screw will just fall right through. You want to make it just a little hole so you can get the screw started. All right, after you take out the drill bit, put in a Phillips head screwdriver uh, point into the drill. All right, and then take the screw and put it in one of the holes and drill it straight down. Once it's nice deep in there, you can take the uh, this part right here, the other wire, and you'll feed it in and just push it straight up through the hole. Uh, if the hole isn't big enough, you can just take the extra screw and drill it straight through to make it wider and you can put up the other side. Okay. Now just insert the red wire inside here and up through the hole. Insert it into the lighter and spark it. If it makes a spark, then you're in luck. And all you're going to do is you're going to just tape this down right here. And then you can, you can wrap it around the PVC and tape this here. And this will function as a trigger. And you can, when you put it on your shoulder, you can just click it spark it in the back. Now that you have your uh, ignition source in here, what you want to do is get some duct tape and tape it down. Okay, now that you have your ignition switch uh, planted on top of the PVC, you're gonna start loading it. This is when you get to fire. That's the cool part. All right, check it out. Take a sock, all right, right here. Just roll it up in a little ball, push it in the top. You can use a potato, anything, all right? Now just put it in the very top portion You'll get a broomstick and just take the end off of it. Anything works. And measure about two inches from the barrel, the sock will rest. So the sock's about this big, you'd put it right there. So it's about an inch or two inches from there. Now take your hand where you're measuring it and simply push the sock all the way down. Take this out. And now you uh, spray the hairspray. Okay? Take the hairspray right here, and after you spray it in there for about three seconds, uh, just to fill it up, spray, and then put the cap on. We're going to close this up. This traps the gas inside, makes it pressurized, so when it ignites, it explodes the thing out of there. All right, check it out. Ready? I'll launch it into the trees. Place the cannon on your shoulder, thumb on the ignition switch, and launch. That is a potato cannon.